Welcome back. I'm here with our MP, John Nader, who's joining us from Ottawa. John, again, thanks for joining me. Thank you, Peter. So right now you're in, um, you're in Ottawa. Where's your office located? So I'm right on Wellington Street in Ottawa. It's uh, the, the main uh, street, if you will. Uh, the Parliament buildings are right across the street from my office, and I'm on the other side of the street in Wellington Building. So I, I'm in the Wellington Building on Wellington Street representing Perth Wellington. So it's, uh, it's easy to remember from that standpoint. Right. <laughs> that, I couldn't have, <laughs> couldn't have been better. So um, your commute, do you have to drive in, or how do you actually do that? When you get to Ottawa, how do you commute into work? So once I get to Ottawa, I, Lately, I've been driving. Uh, it's, uh, it's the easiest one, but sometimes take the train, the odd time take the, the plane. Um, but once I get to Ottawa, uh, I, I really don't need much, much in the ways of, way of cars or Ubers or, or taxis because I'm about six, seven minute walk from, uh, from our little apartment here to, to my office. Um, sometimes even shorter if it's a cold day, I, uh, I tend to uh, boot it as quickly as I can. Uh, we do have some wind down here in Ottawa typically in the winter, so it's a uh, a little quicker in the winter than it is in the summer when it's a nice leisurely stroll. Yeah, maybe you skate down the Rideau Canal too. <laughs> Absolutely. John, what's a typical day look like for you in Ottawa? Yeah, so when I'm in Ottawa, I, I try to get in the office uh, fairly early, um, often before seven. Just gives me that bit of time before uh, anyone else is around to review emails, uh, you know, do some reading of what uh, might have came in overnight. I'm just going to get a sense of what that day is going to be like. It's just that little bit of quiet time um, to, to get things done, to get things done, and then, um, you know, by by eight thirty, uh, you know, the place starts getting bustling down here. Try to have a quick chat with my staff, just kind of plan out the day. The House of Commons starts sitting about 10 o'clock each morning. Uh, so I do try to be in my seat in, in, in the House of Commons for 10 a.m. And then for the rest of the day, I'm in the House, I'm out of the House, I'm at committee meetings, I'm at stakeholder meetings. Um, sometimes if a constituent's down here, I'd love to be able to meet up with them, uh, give them a bit of a tour of the place if, uh, if, if they have time and if uh, tours are happening, um, love, love to be able to do that. And then uh, two o'clock is kind of the uh, the big show, if you will. That's uh, that's question period. Um, it's not always the the most enjoyable. Um, I'll be honest; it's uh, not always my favorite part of the day. It's uh, it can get a bit uh, hyper partisan, a bit uh, a bit loud, a bit obnoxious sometimes. But uh, I think that's where uh, the the national media tends to pay a, a fair bit of attention is that uh, that time period. And then again, after question period from 3 p.m. until about 7, 7.30, it's the same thing. So I'm in the house, I'm out of the house, I'm at committee meetings, I'm at uh, you know stakeholder meetings, uh, meetings by phone, by Zoom, in person, uh, until the end of the day when we have our votes. So votes happen typically anywhere from 6.30 to 7.30 at night. Um, and uh, we, we have the traditional way of voting, uh, which is where we rise in our seat uh, by roll call one at a time we bow towards the speaker and our, our votes are recorded. And, and I always like to say the story of, uh, you know, if it's one vote, it takes about seven or eight minutes. If it's 10 votes, it takes about 70 to 80 minutes. Um, and if it's uh, 250 votes, we're sometimes there for 36 hours straight. So there are times that uh, uh, we are, uh, we, we, we do go overnight uh, for, for voting and it's uh, um, sometimes a bonding experience, but sometimes it's, uh, it's uh, not, not so enjoyable at uh, 4 a.m. Uh, standing up and sitting down every, uh, every seven minutes and trying Trying to uh, trying to get that done. Well, I'll never complain about a long day again, <laughs> John. The other thing, you were sworn in on the forty fourth session of Parliament. What's that procedure like? It's it, it's it's interesting. So it's a it's a it's an oath that we take. It's about. You know, 10, 15 seconds. So the oath itself is a uh, uh, fairly short, but it's 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 pledging allegiance uh, to Her Majesty the Queen, and so it does seem somewhat antiquated, if if you will. Um, but by making that oath, by pledging, um, you know, your loyalty and fidelity to uh, to Her Majesty the Queen, it represents the crown. It represents the institutions of democracy, of uh, of, of working on behalf of of one's constituents, of serving um, the people, um, and and serving them, you know, to the very best of your ability. So through that. Oath, both. That's that's the, the the testament. That's the the um, the pledge you're making. So it's a it it seems antiquated, but it's rich in tradition, and it's just a, such an honor to be able to take that oath, uh, and through that to be able to serve um, the 107,000 people that call Perth Wellington home. I know Perth Wellington is not a big Francophone community. Ottawa, obviously bilingual. How often do you have to use French? 
It, it depends on the week. Um, uh, in the past, I've, I've served on different committees where it's uh, come up fairly often. I've been on the Official Languages Committee in the past. Uh, currently, I'm the Shadow Minister for Canadian Heritage, so there's a strong Francophone Quebecois uh, component, so it's given me the opportunity to, to use the French that I picked up over the last uh, uh, couple of decades and, and to make that work. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm perfectly bilingual. I'm, uh, I, I do enjoy uh, speaking the other national language that we have here in Canada. I'm not perfect, um, but I do enjoy using it from time to time. Well, merci beaucoup, John. Uh, <laughs> bien you. Merci beaucoup. Oh, very good. So we'll come back and we're going to talk about 2021 in review.